Hi there, I'm Shane McCormick with H&M Marine. Do a little walkthrough on a North River 29. Just did uh, electronic steering, joystick, radar, chart plotter, stereos, VHFs, all kinds of good stuff. Starting in the back, the electric steering actuators, all electric steering. There's no hydraulic nothings. And then over here at the aft station, Garmin's gonna be our display for Yamaha here. Squeezing the joystick in here was very tight with the plotter and the controls. They were way over here, so we made a little plate, scooched over as tight as we could get comfortably, and then get the joystick in to allow for having full clearance of it. These are the new Yamaha Hellmaster EX autopilot controls, which offer heading hold, position hold, or both. Both got the bow thruster. We didn't install it, so he's just got it all with joysticks and bow thrusters. If you crash in the dock, then you couldn't have made it anyways. Command mic, this is our second station off of the VHF, so we got it all back here. And then up here we did the wet sound sound bar, it's self-amplified, dual channel. Works like a pretty good situation out here on the back deck. And going in the boat, here at the main station, we did the WB670 hideaway stereo. The ERX400 is a little baby stereo, it's just a remote control, and then the guts are back behind the dash there, which allowed us to fit it in a tight spot here. I'm a big fan of having the volume knob to instant access. If we need to be able to hear, we can instantly go to here as we can have all of our controls up on the big screen. We did the compass up here, it's the bulkhead mount. VHF has got remote located mic, the whole cord hanging in my face and swinging would kill me. So we got the mic down here for nice, you know, not in our way not in our knees, try to keep these things in mind. And then the speakers, the custom speaker mouse, it wasn't really anywhere to put a speaker, so we made some little plates here on the sides. You know, we could have done some box speakers, but they aren't as cosmetically pleasing. So we've made some little seaboard plates and mounted those in. North River does a really good job on the wiring, but Coming on top, you gotta keep with the cue. Up here on top, we've got all kinds of stuff happening. We originally started with the horn was mounted here, which was good, but our big light bar, we needed to make some space. We've done it in the past where we hang this light bar off the bottom of here, but then by the, sh the shine of the intensely bright light, lights up this railing and pretty much just blinds you. So we did some nighttime testing and found that if we put it here, we're still gonna get excellent light out front, but not light up our railing. Um, use the old seal for the horn and got a nice little, you know, it's not perfect, but it's not making more holes in the boat. Uh, and the horn looks pretty cool hanging up under here. Got the Phantom Open Array Radar, four footer. Uh, it's got all the latest and greatest. Got three GPS antennas starting at the left here. We've got the GXM54 uh, Sirius XM drops in through this as well as lots of weather and fish functions, plankton and temperature gradients in the ocean, uh, Doppler, radar, rain, all kinds of weather. That's good quality weather. Uh, this one here is the Yamaha heading and GPS, roll, pitch, yaw, all of that's built into this for the joystick system, position and heading hold and all that come in through that. Dual VHF antennas. And then over here, this is just a standard GPS Garmin uh, 24X antenna, which also does have some heading and yaw, pitch and roll sensors as well. Needing to do both of these because this one's only active when the ignition key's on. So if we're gonna be at standby and just drifting or whatnot, key's gonna be off. And so this will come back into play. Did a little custom wedge disc here to level this one out. And the anchor light 
Normally goes on a pedestal, but these stainless light bars are quite robust. Able to get a nice mount up here, custom, and really keeps the, the look, the style, and the functionality. Yeah.